Okay, well, today is Saturday, September 13th. Yeah, September 13th, uh, 11.40 at night. Um, didn't get much wood, <clears throat> actually didn't get any woodworking done today. Uh, I had to replace a uh, fan motor on my wife's car. The uh, Whenever she's running air conditioning, well, I'm in Southern California, and it's been 100 plus degrees the last couple of weeks. And my wife tells me, hey, my car's running hot. So did some investigating, and one of the uh, two fans on the radiator, uh, the motor was dead. So I uh, went to Rock Auto and ordered a new one, came in this week, took the whole thing apart, giant pain in the butt, and got the whole shroud thing out and the fans off. And I went to go take the um, motor itself out could not get the screws loose. So I ended up having to go to my uh, buddy's house who he had a, uh, I don't know, what is it called, impact remover. You know, it's the thing you hit it, it hits the screw and turns at the same time. So I ended up doing that and it um, broke the bushings out. So I had to go get some two-part epoxy and some new screws and some washers to hold it all back in place. And of course, you know, he lives 40 minutes away. So um, I had planned trying to work on uh, the Summers Woodworking uh, Contest uh, birdhouse. I had planned on working that today, but didn't uh, get to do that. And then when I get home, I found out that my four-year-old broke another chair. So um, I have an older video on my main channel of uh, fixing a blue one. So now I'm going to have to sand this one down in the back and or glue this up sand it down in the back and put some braces on this one too. So, um, not sure how to prevent this in the future, but maybe I'll just start putting braces on them to begin with, but we'll see. Um, I, I don't know if you guys have uh, seen it, but I posted the, um, oh God, it's late, sawhorse video. So uh, we're getting a good response from that, a lot of a uh, lot of views, and a lot of good suggestions on what to do to fix it. Uh, I am gonna try those out, um, but not right now. I'm tired of dealing with those things. Just want that it's outside. I actually ended up um, uh, taking the broken plastic ones out and putting the new wood ones out outside and screwing down. Um, the two by fours from the pallets and making it kind of a permanent table. Um, I am going to make a video on my workbench. Uh, okay, not this workbench, but the workbench that I came up with. Um, it's, there's two different versions I have. I've got a straight, just two foot by four foot one over here. And then I've got the expanded one over here that's behind me. Uh, it's the same basic design. Uh, this one I just made I don't know, seven feet long. That one over there is like four feet long. And then this one, I put a face on it and some shelves and a drawer. Uh, the one over here is just a straight table. Uh, I am going to be making one of those to replace that one. It's going to stay out there. But I'm going to make it with slats and make it so that I can put my miter saw on it. And then the slats will flip over and it'll have uh, two by four risers on them to act as a uh, miter saw station. And at least that's the thinking. Um, we see how well my uh, sawhorse idea came out, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good about this one, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm also going to be making a um, an outdoor bar for my sister-in-law. You can see a rendering here. Um, the big gray part in the back is going to be a chalkboard. Um, that way, you know, it's outdoor bar. It's going to have an uh, ice chest uh, on one side with a little door that comes up. And then uh, wine glasses will be able to hang in the slots up top. And then uh, in the very top, we'll be able to put alcohol. And then you'll have, you know, a big serving area. Uh, it's going to have a towel bar on the front of it, too. Uh, it's mainly going to be, it's primarily going to be made out of two by fours. Excuse me. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's probably what I'm going to work on next weekend. Um, Woodworking in America is going on right now. Um, I really wish I could have went, but it's a lot of money. 
to spend right now, and um, you know I'd have to take time off work, and I've only I've been there less than a year, so I don't have any you know real vacation time saved up. So hopefully next year I'll be able to go, and um, David Picciuto and Steve Ramsey posted a picture up today on Facebook of a bunch of YouTube woodworkers. So I, I can't say that I would be in the picture, but it'd be kind of cool if I could be there when something like that was taken. Um, other than that, that's pretty much my exciting life. I am working on a design for a uh, birdhouse, and hopefully I will be able to start working on that tomorrow. So other than that, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Um, oh, I still need to do a video review for this thing, but I haven't had anything to work on it with to really test it. So uh, hopefully tomorrow too, I'll be buying some more pallet or not pallet wood, um, cedar fence pickets. Uh, let those sit here and, and acclimate to the shop and uh, dry a little bit. Um, I've had two people on Facebook that are it, uh, well, actually. Um, two people on Facebook that want to get cooler boxes, but they haven't sent me a deposit yet. And then one person that wants a cooler box without a cooler. Uh, said a box. So I imagine I'm going to make it the same. Uh, I'm going to see if she wants the lid, you know, still just the size of the cooler box or if she wants it, you know, the full size. Uh, but once again, you know, she needs to contact me and, and then we can figure out details and get a deposit. Uh, other than that, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.